Good morning and welcome back to the channel. Thanks for clicking on today's video. Today we're in the classic Cotswold village of Castle Coombe, described by many as the prettiest village in England. And I'm gonna take you around this village and show you why they're not wrong. This village gets its name from the castle that no longer uh, sits here. And Coombe, meaning deep wooded valley. Castle Coombe has been famous in TV and film. With Dr. Doolittle being filmed here in the 1960s, plus Stardust, War Horse, a Spielberg movie, Pride and Prejudice, and many other. It's a beautiful place with a classic manor house, church, and some beautiful honeycomb colored classic Cotswold stone houses. So come with me and I'll show you around this classic and some say prettiest village in England. So this is the river Bybrook that flows through Castle Coombe. And this river once powered the wool and grist mills of this area, generating enormous wealth for Castle Coombe and surrounding villages. Sadly, by the 17th century, the river depth mysteriously dropped and Castle Coombe lost some of its wool making um, ability. This village has not had a new house built here since 1600. It's preserved in time and remains a fairy tale village in the Cotswolds. There are no TV aerials, no road signs, no traffic lights. Nothing really has changed here in nearly 600 years. Okay, so this is the main street in Castle Coombe. Beautiful Cotswold cottages on either side. It's a beautiful sunny day. We had snow this morning and snow yesterday, but snow's now gone. It's just left this clear blue sky and bright sunshine. It really is the perfect day to visit Castle Coombe and it's not too busy. At the weekends, it becomes very busy here, but not now. Just cross the road so you try and get to see another bit. These lovely idyllic cottages. Look at these.
two pubs in the village. This is one, the White Hart. If you've seen my videos before, we always end up in a pub. So we'll pop in there and taste a local beer. But yeah, this is the White Hart, also a small hotel. And on the opposite side, you've already seen it in the video, I think. It's a castle in. Look at that beautiful sunny day. That's the way we came from. So this is Market Street, where the three streets all intersect. And this structure up here is called Market Cross, built in the 14th century. This is where people had markets, where the wealthy landowners would trade their wool and other produce. Absolutely beautiful. Beautiful building. And these are the steps that people obviously hundreds of years ago rode horses around here. These are the steps that you use to mount your uh, your horse and they stood the test of time. They've been up here hundreds and hundreds of years. Just try and get one more view. This is the old pump here. There you go. Beautiful structure. See if we can go inside. It's quite busy today, but not as busy as it usually is. You never get this yourself unless you come here very early in the morning. But yeah, if we can just climb up here, I can show you the intricate carvings. Look at that. This is St Andrew's Church in the village. Part of the chancel is 13th century, but in 1850 it was largely rebuilt. Okay, let's go inside if it's open and I'll show you around the church.
So this is the other pub in Castle Coon, the Castle Inn. Pop in there later, I'm sure, for a drink. And then just past the Castle Inn is this gateway to the church and the manor house. But we don't go that way. That's for church visits only and people who live down here in these gorgeous cottages. So we go through this beautiful archway and this will take us through to the manor. So let's go and see what's through here. Now, if you're thinking I've seen a video on this channel before with Castle Coombe in it, you're right. In the very early days when I launched this site, this is one of the first places I came. And I recorded a video, it's still on the channel. I recorded it on my mobile phone and I recorded it with a shaky sort of wobbly hand. So it's not really I'm very proud of it. And I thought I'd come back having learnt quite a lot about editing. I've got a much better camera, I'm filming in 4K. I thought I would come down and show you again. And it's a much nicer day. It's a sunny day, it's autumn, beautiful colours. Hence I thought, let's go again. So yeah, feel free to watch the old one, compare and contrast. Hopefully you've seen an improvement. Now you'll notice none of, the, none of these houses in Castle Coombe have an aerial on the roof, a satellite dish or any kind of modern appliance. And that's because when Dr. Doolittle was filmed in the 1960s, the director didn't want all these aerials and paraphernalia getting in the way. It's obviously it was set in the past. So he offered to build and pay for a TV transmitter high up on the hill that would offer fantastic reception for all the people who lived here if they'd take down their aerials, which they did. And ever since they've got their TV, courtesy of Dr. Doolittle, um, from a transmitter just up on the hill. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is the manor house owned by the Scrope family and it was built in the 17th century and then rebuilt in the 19th century. Today it's a luxury country house hotel complete with 18 hole golf course and an absolutely fantastic place for a weekend break. They got the Christmas tree up which is great and yeah what a place to come even just for afternoon tea or a drink or an evening meal it's set in absolutely idyllic grounds we're going to go and explore up there some of the beautiful gardens but i had to show you this the fountain and just the absolute gorgeousness of the manor house and if we pan round, actually you can see a bit of snow. These are the, these are the beautiful grounds. I think we're allowed to walk in them. Someone will tell me if we're not. Another view of the house there. Look at these beautiful grounds. Signs of Christmas. And let's go and have a look at this lovely stairway 
up to the God. Turn around and show you the view from up here. The house again. Absolutely beautiful gardens. Snow here still. You're very lucky to get snow in Castle Coombe that you can film. It's set in a valley, it's in a deep ravine, so you don't always get the right conditions for snow. And when you do, it just looks, like I said, a fairy tale village. Absolutely perfect. So that's the manor house and this little lane brings us back round back to the church which is up there which you saw earlier hopefully and this brings us back to the heart of the village to the uh, market square and the market cross.
so we're back at the river Bybrook and just want to show you a little bit more of these houses and the lovely river and then we'll walk up to the end of the village and come back and that'll be the end of the tour hopefully you've enjoyed it absolutely stunning isn't it look at that so at the edge of the village but the village sprawls out a bit further and just along here this is the Bybrook um, we're walking the direction of the river and uh, if we keep going we do come to a little bridge I think so I just thought I'd show you a little bit more my battery's getting low so I might have to say goodbye soon but yeah and it's getting dark it's about half past three and uh, yeah it's November the 20th now so it gets dark by about 4.30 4 but we've come on a great sunny day just look ahead here and I'll come and meet you at that bridge Look at this lovely little bridge. Some fantastic walks around here. It's so quiet. Quiet country road. Here's the river again. The Bybrook. Look at these trees in autumn colour still. Look at that. Hopefully you're getting all this. It's now in 4K every video. So, um, yeah, looks sharper. Absolutely beautiful. I say, it's just outside Castle Coombe, so a lot of the tourists don't even know it's here. Hope you can hear the leaves. Up. I'm not sure if you've got any of those. So we're coming to the end of the video now. I hope you've enjoyed this tour of Castle Coombe. I hope you'll day, one day come and visit it yourself as it is undoubtedly one of, if not, the prettiest villages in England. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, share, leave a comment and I'll see you for another video very soon somewhere in the Cotswolds I'm gonna give you one last shot of the main village the Sun is going down so before long it'll be dark here and the villagers will have their chocolate box fairy tale village to themselves again I'm gonna pop in this pub here have a quick drink and I'll be on my way. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you again soon. Bye for now. Bye bye.